This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Netflix. Go to netflix.com slash TYT for an awesome free trial membership. So we start with Jared Loeffner, uh, the shooter who uh, shot Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords and 19 others, killing six, wounding 14 in Arizona. Uh, I uh, wrote a blog about this yesterday. Uh, it's up on our website on theyoungturks.com. It has been taken down from Huffington Post. Apparently, it is too controversial. Fascinating. You read. You be the judge. I stand one million percent behind it. I think there's no problem with it whatsoever. It's their website, by the way. They get to make editorial decisions. So I don't have any problem with that. But it's definitely up on our website where we make editorial decisions. Uh, and it is, in essence, what I told you yesterday on the program. Uh, I believe the conservatives have created an atmosphere in which uh, psychos are directed in a certain direction. And as we laid out the case yesterday, we showed you all the violent uh, quotes from the conservatives, whether they're politicians or commentators, and we saw the violent results. Please check out that video on YouTube as well. Uh, now, uh, I'm getting uh, pushback on that, and some people are outraged. Uh, I got a uh, correspondence uh, telling me from a conservative that uh, I am blaming him for breathing. I assure you, if you're a conservative, you can go ahead and breathe. I'm not blaming you for that. And, but in all seriousness, I'm not blaming conservatives in general. I'm blaming very specific people, okay? Now, in order for you to understand, I mean, if you're a conservative and you have conservative thoughts on social issues, economic issues, foreign policy, it's got, you've got nothing to do with creating an atmosphere of violence. But if you said things like this, let's go to Rush Limbaugh, for example, right? Limbaugh talked about killing all of the liberals, right? Let's put that up on the screen. Uh, he said, I tell people, don't kill all the liberals. Leave enough so we can have uh, two on every campus, living fossils, so we will never forget that these, pe that these people, what these people stood for. I have any issues reading that one. <laughs> all right. Um, seems pretty clear, right? See, that's what I'm talking about. If that's not clear enough, let's go to Sharon Engel and her famous Second Amendment remedies. Right? Uh, you remember, of course, she said, if this Congress keeps going the way it is, people are really looking toward those Second Amendment remedies and saying, my goodness, what can we do to turn this country around? I'll tell you, the first thing we need to do is take Harry Reid out. Second Amendment remedies. I mean, that is absolutely clear. She's telling you, go grab your guns. If we can't win uh, through the elections, well, we will have Second Amendment remedies instead. If she wasn't clear enough, Michelle Bachman, okay? She says, I want people in Minnesota armed and dangerous on this issue of the energy tax because we need to fight back. Thomas Jefferson told us having a revolution every now and then is a good thing. What part of armed and dangerous is unclear? Those are the people that I am referring to. Now, if you've said similar things, then I'm referring to you. Okay, and if you've said them in a national forum. If you haven't, calm down. Okay, now, as to whether I think these people set Jared Loeffner off specifically. Did they say, oh, I can't wait for Jared to hatch this plot? No, they have no idea who this guy is. I'm assuming they're still human beings, and they uh, were horrified at the news. I hope, I hope, I hope, right? What I'm saying is, they created this environment. They can't then, in good conscience, turn around and go, oh my God, I, I never could have seen this coming. I told people to grab their guns and to kill the liberals, and that they should be armed and dangerous and take these things matters into their own hands. But golly gee, well, look, they did that. Yes, that's what they did over and over again, as we showed on the show. So that is what I am criticizing, and I think it's perfectly clear. Now, one of the issues is apparently I'm not allowed to say that the conservatives did it. But what, what do you mean? Yeah, I, I showed the timeline yesterday on the show. Uh, almost every one of the attacks is against liberals, Democrats, or the government by conservatives, by the right wing. Uh, you can say I'm not allowed to say it, but there, boom, I said it. Okay, I'm not going to buy into false equivalency. <laughs> I mean, as I wrote in the blog, well, how are the Democrats at fault in this? They're the ones who got shot. So, I mean, this, in my opinion, is the height of false equivalency. To say that the person who got shot has as much responsibility, or that party, the victims, have as much responsibility as the people who did the shooting. Oh, and they say, oh, Jared Loeffner is a liberal. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, Beth. Is there any bounds of reason? The guy sh it says, I hate the government, I want to take out the government, goes shoots a Democrat in the back of the head. How much clearer did it need to be? No, apparently not clear enough. Let's call it even. Let's call it even. Let's call it even. 
Hell no, I'm not calling it even. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Final thing. Look, am I saying that we should take away people's uh, freedom of speech and that Rush Limbaugh, Glenn Beck, etc. shouldn't be allowed to speak? No, I'm not saying that. If we did that, you know who they'd use it on first? Us. If you pass a law saying, hey, watch out for da 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 not because we're the most dangerous, not even close, but you think Obama would take away Fox News' ability to speak? <laughs> no Democrat would ever do that. But in order to show how tough he is, he'd be like, oh, look, I took out a liberal. I didn't allow him to speak. Now, whereas if you had a Republican president, you think Bush or Cheney would have hesitated to, if they had the power to take away the ability of progressive talk show hosts? They wouldn't even let anyone come to a rally that had the wrong bumper sticker or the wrong t-shirt. They'd do it in a second. Oh, hell no, I'm not in favor of limiting freedom of speech. All I'm saying is, and you know, you want to attack Limbaugh, Beck, I get that's your job. And look, we, you know, sometimes I do the war drums, et cetera, et cetera, and you want to use some imagery. I'm not saying, hey, look, I'm going to control everyone. First of all, I'm not going to control anything. Second of all, I don't want the government to control anything. But all I'm saying is, you use all that imagery, you use this, you use that. Just draw some sort of line. So like when you're about to say kill all the liberals, don't do that. Okay, when you're about to say grab your guns and seek remedies through your guns, don't do that. But apparently for asking this most obvious and simple request, uh, I, I am dangerously one-sided. <laughs> so what's the other side? They should continue to tell people to grab their guns? But no, everything has to be called even. Hell no. Not, not, on this program, we don't do what everybody else is, so, what the mainstream media tells you that you should be doing. Oh, make sure that you treat everybody with kids' gloves. Make sure you call everything even. No, we tell you the facts. We tell you the reality, okay? I showed you the quotes. I showed you the results. You make up your own mind. If you don't believe me, do the research on it on your own. But I'm not going to sugarcoat it just to protect one side. That's crazy. The people who created this environment are not liberals, are not Democrats. It's grotesque to say that they are equally culpable. No, it was the right-wing leaders. And we showed you exactly how, and we did it again today. Brief example, longer example in other YouTube clips. Check it out. Get a load of Netflix. They deliver the movie to your house, no late charges, free shipping. You can watch thousands of movies or TV shows straight on your PC or on your television through a gaming console. Netflix.com slash TYT, free trial membership, you get Netflix all over you.